wrong side of the map at this point. Flandre about to turn Mega. Keep your eyes on him. Tian goes for the 1v1. Hero's entrance. It's try and protect the jungler as well. Don't be on the back line. In comes Flandre, but the stop punch has come on through. Flandre with a huge Nar ultimate. Maybe this is it. But FBX still firing out. Viper. In goes Viper. Turning no. around. No. What? Way. What? How does Viper do it? How does he manage to triple kill at the most crucial point of the game? And the fact that he's playing so aggressively, using the Gale Force to go in. We've seen it all series long. Viper is afraid of no one. Hey ho, hope you're doing great. Absolutely beautiful Viper. He has full knowledge of where Garvey is. So he sets up the feathers, flashes in, and uses the W to call them back. But will they find it? What's the play? Forward they go. They might have knocked him down. Puts down the pool, but is there, there enough is. damage? They're gonna try. They ult over the top, and it's already a two for zero. Viper doesn't die, but one finally comes through. It's up to Jackie Love, but he gets stunned. Clutch from Tarzan, but Morgana Viper. can't find it either. Viper stays alive. That's the full pentakill when they needed it most. Gonna spit out one. Oh. It's a lower cooldown. It's, oh my god, the damage. Onto you, Cal, and Chobi gets out once again. Jeff yes. is excited. Flashes gets the second. Into the third. No. Bye -bye. And Viper's popping up in the back line. This is a Kaiser that shouldn't be this strong yet, but he is. He's able to do it. Can he get the fourth? Oh, it's so close to the quadrant, Cal. I'm ripping with the god tier team fight. Knock at the dragon. That's third Drake. Here for EDG as the fight ensues. The rest of EDG trying to just keep themselves alive. It is Bubi who falls, but they trade it for JJ. Massive three man knockoff. It's a quadra kill out of nowhere for Viper. And they're going to try and gift him over to the Penta. They are going to give him over to him. Viper gets himself a Penta kill. That's going to be the rest of the team kind of pushing in on top of Mako. Maybe they spent a little bit too far forward. Trade one for one. I kind of feel like that's a little bit more worth for Team WE. Whoa! Jomo! Going in far, far too deep, but the fight will ensue. Missing, trying to go in there. They get not get the shuffle off. It's a double here for triple for Viper. Scout and Mako. Mako also can find a massive engage if he can get his nice head, but pulverize. Ooh! Oh, the cast, they're going for the edge. Mako's into the back. Dragon secures by JJ. They have Ocean Soul. EG, it's not a drill. As they get a three man pulverize, it's a great one from Angel. But the problem is, Soul was given over. Bin in the middle, just gonna be taken down by Viper, and it's easy as that. Pull this one off, throws down the cast, but it's not gonna happen. He comes in too late after the Baron is dead. Shockwave connects in on the three as Viper falls down to about half HP. First kill comes in, it's gonna be all hands getting taken out, but an exchange on the sports comes through. Viper! And Everett's gonna die! Viper goes forward! He's gonna fight three! And they're starting the dragon to try to bring EDG in. They're gonna look for a death sentence. They're over called the Forge God. The better slide coming through Ooh. and it's secure. They stole the soul. Viper does it, baby. Top Esports still have everyone alive. Blantre tanking up the tower. There's only three seconds left on the Elder buff. This is the chance now for Top Esports to fight. Duo goes in to start the fight for itself. Jackula still going strong, still alive on the back line. Same 369 barrels in oh. across the team, but it's a kill for Viper. EDG might have done it. Onto the Nexus Towers they go. But Jackula has to make the play, has to make it happen. Knight alongside him. Jackula into GA. EDG have done it. The triple for Viper. He's looking for the Pentagon. It's over. They're looking to try and take down the Baron before anything can happen. Baron! Oh! No! It's going to be stolen by Viper! It could be all over from this point as we see our first shockwave. Two, and you can see Mako just jumps straight in on top of BP God. They have got a 3v4 in favor of EDG. Way, way forced to flash away, but they're just flushing, flashing in on top of him. He's trying to keep himself alive, but they jump straight back onto Mole. Mole will not be able to trade back any kills. Now we have a little bit of a skirmish here. Mole caught out. They have to use the paranoia, but he is dead on arrival. Now Weiwei jumps in and oh dear. Oh dear. I think the mental is what you talked about. Go sword. They've been split up as Toby gets into the back line. Ultimate lands nicely from Tarzan. But will they actually have the damage? The reset for Humble Life is pretty good. But Viper launches into the back line and now Key's taking the focus. Tal's in trouble. The knockup is going to land as Tal's taken down and Griffin. We always ask the question can they get the miracle team fight as Tarzan uses his whole health bar? And that is somehow 
the eight. And use that ultimate, does have that one available as the Void Seeker lands on the target. This is the ultimate from Tarzan as in goes the hand. Gets the quickness of Viper right into the back line. He's going to be taken out, but Sung Yoon was the first to go down. Stopwatches are not going to be able to stop this onslaught as Lava is picked off. We're looking for the Pentakill. That's it for Viper. Pentakill for Viper. Mean as well, they want to get five members into this pit as Senate over the side. This Baron is extraordinarily low as there. The Empress by Tarzan goes golden. It is going to be the 50 50s. Keen takes down Chobi. It's oh, Tarzan that steals back the Baron, but will there be anyone? Left alive, Viper goes gold. Remember, this is AP and so much damage. Guys, a killer instinct over the wall as Newcastle survives for so long, but my bow plays him. The double kill for the Griffin 80 carry. The Void Seeker for the triple. That's the ace. A one man sleep comes through. Scout bops against the wall. Chalice is suddenly dead. Heat 2 will press his golden button as the ult from Avelios flies through and Sam D can turn the fight, but not until Viper flashes into a death sentence. Does he care though? He's too fed. W for the triple kill. Keen goes to the death sentence, sets up the Trellias once again. Mako running in, flashes third immediately. Showstopper in the back line and Viper Ooh. finds the mark. The face breaker hits three people and it's sleepy sleep time for TT. Just like TT, Clement, they're going to drop this one. We just saw from the EDG mid laner. Now it's Yagao's chance to play zone away. But so far he hasn't found any damage on the enemy team. Zoom is going in for their turnaround. Can they actually find Viper? Jinj is still at full health, Viper at full health, and they're the one slicing down the JD Gaming members as Viper shreds through their front line. He's coming in red hot onto Viper, changes target onto Mako, hits the back line, they found the pick, it's TT still getting burnt down as Viper's got the range advantage. And they're like, no, this was the wrong move. And are we gonna see a second Baron steal? That's gonna be the question. Scout does go in, he forces away the jungler right here, and the Baron is still gonna go down to Kanavi, but EDG do have the numbers advantage as Scout is swarming from the back line. He does found the kill onto Loken. This is turning into a disaster for JD Gaming. They've lost four members on the map. That's my reflection, thinking about what you mentioned. It was supposed to be the one to take every last pain Goodbye. away. Nothing on our loving, maybe time told us that we were different. Did it break you down? Staring at the ceiling, fighting off the fear. I'm not